Uh, there's there's a couple more fights here that I think have a little more value to them. Uh, speaking of our next fight on the card, Yancey Medeiros versus Eric Silva, and I couldn't believe my eyes when I saw Eric Silva plus one twenty underdog. What what is going on here? And this is a fight that actually opened with Eric Silva, a small favorite, and we have taken nothing but Yancey Medeiros action. I originally wanted to bet Eric Silva myself, and I just couldn't figure out what's going on. What am I missing that some really smart MMA people are betting uh, Yancey Medeiros? The Why, more I looked, the more I you? couldn't find it. I, I don't know. a lot, I, And it's mostly been detrimental stuff, too. And this is what always concerns me when people do the wrong analysis. I don't like Eric Silva. He's failed every time he's stepped up. Yancey Medeiros is 0-5 against ranked opponents. I mean, <laughs> what do you like there? He's never beaten a ranked opponent. Opponent. I'm not sure there's a lot there to like uh, with Yancey Medeiros. You have to love the level of competition with Eric Silva. A split decision, super tight loss to Neil Magny. Yes. He's coming off a rear naked choke win in his last one. Could have beat Magny in that fight. I mean, he fought Matt Brown when Matt Brown was like number three in the four in the world. One of his losses should have actually been a win. He was knocking that guy out, hit him in the back of the head and got K. I I mean, DQ'd. DQ'd. And- uh, they threw him in with John Fitch a little too early when he wasn't quite prepared, and John Fitch out wrestled him. Haven't we seen that story a million times? I mean, yeah, and, and broke him down. Yeah. yeah. So what Matt's trying to say here, guys, is that bet Eric Silva. This is some. This is a steal here. Getting Eric Silva at plus one twenty. Yancy Medeiros is a fifty five or he's coming up in weight class and it's not like he's a huge big strong one fifty five er he's kind of a skinny fat one fifty five er <laughs> has a skinny neck not the greatest chin he gets clay he gets his head turned a lot when he gets hurt he uh, hit he gets hurt he's slower he throws looping punches he doesn't even fight behind his jab well for being a tall guy so Eric Silva literally has everything going in this fight I was looking at this expecting to see okay Eric Silva is going to be a two to one a three to one favorite in this fight and he's a slight dog so if you want to make some money this is one of the biggest steals on the card bet eric silva I look like at that. yancey Medeiros fought four guys that have ever been ranked in the ufc dustin poirier jim miller ruslan kabilov and um francisco trinaldo he lost all of them and, got finished in three <laughs> and those were all 55ers. At 55 yes yeah well you got to take eric silva on this I mean, is he going in your alone. parlay, Nick, or is he going to be a straight up bet? I don't know. I'm thinking it might be the first time I ever put a straight up bet. Nice. <laughs> I think I might do a little of both just because this is maybe a such straight a up steal. bet and put him on a parlay. <laughs> yeah. Yes. That's what I'm thinking. I agree with you, Nick. This is a steal. Some value here. Bet Eric Silva. If I'm wrong, then um, just let me hear about it. But <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure you will.